the Kimbaya artifacts found within Colombia in the late 20th century. They are a series of several dozen solid gold artifacts, which were made by the Kimbaya civilization over 3,000 years ago. A few of these fascinating artifacts have become popularly known as the Kimbaya aeroplanes, and for good reason. Not only have these wonderful artifacts almost single-handedly ignited an interest in ancient astronaut theory within millions of people who've come into contact with them, but they also clearly resemble flying craft of our modern age. Now displayed within the Smithsonian Institute, there is one in particular, now known as the Columbia Jet, that has captivated many a great mind over the decades. The Smithsonian's account, placed beneath the ancient artifact, states that the gold artifact is nothing but a mere stylized insect from the Kimbaya culture. This small golden model, only about two inches in length and made of solid 22 carat gold, was initially discovered within an ancient tomb. When first catalogued, it was assessed as a zoomorph or animal looking. However, the Columbia jet is now on display with six other similar objects that have been found in tombs within Venezuela and Peru. Extensive analysis has been undertaken upon the jet's shape and possible original inspiration. This has been in an attempt to decipher what this tiny model could represent. Dr. Ivan Sanderson, a scientist from the United States, studied the object and said it looked too mechanical, too reminiscent of an airplane design to have been based on a natural object. J.A. Ulrich, an expert on aircraft, also looked at the artifact and admitted that it closely resembled a Swedish Saab jet. In 1994, three Germans, Algun Dainboom, Peter Belting and Konrad Lubbers, convinced of it being a miniature replica of what was once an ancient aircraft, decided to create a scale model of the Columbia jet to see once and for all if it could indeed fly. During their research, they found that the object was much more like a modern aircraft or the once supersonic Concorde than any insect. The replica was completed in 1996 and was so aerodynamically stable that it flew better than most contemporary jets. It was so successful, in fact, they decided to build another one, but this time with a full jet engine. And this craft apparently flew just like a modern jet. Was the Columbia jet once a real ancient aeroplane? With results so compelling, it's hard to see how an explanation of it being but a mere insect can possibly stay afloat.